Hi, everybody. Hello there. I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda. And Gizmo's in the back. We're going to go for a golf cart ride. You guys want to come along? I think we'll go out, look at a couple of really nice neighborhoods, and then maybe we'll go around the town square. It's Thursday night. Mm -hmm. Band will be playing. Right, they will. We'll check it out. Come on. Here we go. We love going out for golf car rides. Riding toward the sun might not be a great picture tonight. We're gonna to be going toward the sun quite a bit. So we may have to rely on Linda's picture out the side here a little bit to give you a view of what we're looking at. We're coming up on a yard here on the right. You can see they're watering. See that? They advise you not to water during the heat of the day because a lot of that precious water will evaporate. We're in the village of Dunedin. And we found out that Dunedin is pretty large. Very large. Very large. If I'm not mistaken, it may be the largest village, if not the largest one of the top two or three. Yeah. I knew there were four sections, but I think there may be quite a bit more than four sections. Turning on to Nomad, if you're following along with us, that's Hillsboro Trail way out there in the distance. And that's where we're gonna go. It's a beautiful tree right here, a crepe myrtle. Gorgeous blossoms right now. See that block wall straight ahead? That is a courtyard villa neighborhood. Those are some beautiful homes back there. That's the Pensacola Villas. We'll stop, we're gonna cross the cross and get into the multimodal lane over here. Car speed limit is 30 and 20 mile an hour speed limit for our golf carts. See on the left, that's the Dunedin Pool. You can catch us there quite a bit. When was the last time you were there? Uh, two days ago. Well, last night. Last night. Well, yeah. We met some friends over there and splashed around a little bit. I'm trying to do 10 laps every time I go, so I challenge my viewers. If, uh, if you are in the pool, try to do 10 laps. I feel a difference already today. How about that? The GoPro <laughs> flew out of the, the holder we had it in. I got a cart behind me. They're not uh, enjoying me yeah, we'll lollygagging. So over. I'll pull over when I get a chance to pull over. We had a question a week ago or so about these diamond markings on the road. Those mean that this is a special use lane in our case. It's for golf carts and bicycles and with walkers. Although we have a perfectly good sidewalk for walkers. I'm gonna pull over here and see if I can reattach this GoPro. It was jiggling way too bad up there. So I'm gonna put it right here. We're heading west on Hillsboro Trail. This is still Dunedin. Like Linda said, it's a big neighborhood. I don't know what you meant by three or four sections. 
Didn't you find somebody that lived in number 37? Right, so yeah. We are in 200 right. and there's 200, 200, 201, 202, 203, 204. And this one lady at a, a water aerobics said she was in 237. Well then how could you think there was three or four sections? <laughs> It just shows you how little we know. We don't know. Uh, Boy, look at those shrubs. Did you see those? They are beautiful. Oh. Somebody spent some time on those. Friendly people. Hey, there's my car. In your dreams. That's a red Corvette convertible. <laughs> nice vehicle. Our buddy Greg, you've met on several of our shows. He has a blue one. And you can see up ahead. See that straight ahead? They're watering their lawn too. I'm already... some of the lawns are already turning brown. I haven't. I noticed that they were brown and now they're turning green. Because okay. we've been getting a little rain lately. The rain here comes out of those beautiful clouds. And back in Indiana, what do we call those big rainstorms? Toad stranglers. Toad stranglers and gully washers. We're passing by one of the sections of Evans Prairie Golf Course. That is a wildlife habitat right there. Great big area full of birds and alligators and frogs and snakes. We saw our first turtles. baby sandhill cranes on that course. Well, over speaking here. of sandhill cranes. Where we see them. There we are. You can see up ahead we come to the end of the multimodal. We're gonna put on our signal. We've got a hand signal out too. We'll merge. Going by the Hillsboro pool. One golf cart there, one swimmer. The reason we have merged is because they don't want people to turn from the golf cart lane onto Warnock Road there and get broadsided. Yeah. You never want to take a left turn out of a golf cart lane like this. That's bad. Bad for you. Don't do it. Don't do that. Coming up to Valiant Court. Almost up to, what's the name of this big road up here? I'm giving her a test. Buena Vista. Buena Vista. Good job. Buena Vista, one of the main north-south arteries in the villages. If you get lost and you find Buena Vista, if you go north, you're going towards Savannah Springs. You go south, you're going toward Brownwood. Running out of room, we'll put on our signal, give a hand signal. And we're going to merge. Now, coming up here, we have two ways to get to the same place. If we turn left, we're going to go toward Brownwood. But we're going to turn right and go toward Brownwood. That's one of the manned shacks. That could be woman. I'm going to say there's a woman. Could be woman or manned. Oh. We're going to turn here and go down and go through the tunnel. That's the way to get back toward Brownwood. That's where we're heading. They recently painted the tunnels white. You like that, don't you? I love it. Looks clean, brighter, you can see. Yeah, this is lovely. You want to hear the horn? We had a letter last week that talked about how the golf carts smell bad. All that 
gassy fumes. Once in a while, if you get three or four golf carts in the tunnel at the same time, you can smell it. But I didn't smell a thing, did you? I did not. No. Nice wide multimodal trail here. You can see plenty of room for golf carts to pass each other. That's Buena Vista right there. We're driving in the direction of Brownwood Paddock Square. One of the favorite destinations in the villages, would you think? It is. Got a divided lane here. You see how that goes? Not a good time to pass anybody in a divided lane like this. These medians are pretty. Can you see the blue flowers and all the nice perennials? That's Mangrove Golf Course out on the right behind that fence. These blue flowers are pretty. They're all over. I don't know what they're called. I'm not sure. We have some called Blue My Mind. Yeah, they're short. But I short. don't know if those are bigger types of the same thing or not. Can you see that water tower off to the left there? That's right at the wood shop, the village's wood shop. We'll take a little detour, though. We're going to go through one of the nice neighborhoods here in Collier. We almost lived in Collier. We had a house there that we liked a lot. But we snoozed and we lost. We lost it. And somebody else is enjoying that beautiful house right now. Yeah. But we love our house, so no worries. Things work out the way they're supposed to, don't they? Yeah. All right, this is the way it is. You come off the multimodal trail. We're here. And we're going to turn right. And there is no golf cart trail. We're right in the regular traffic pattern. Again, that's Mangrove Golf Course right there. That's a pretty golf course. It was closed for a long time because they have some bridges that they redid. Its sister course is called Sweet Gum. They're right across from each other. And I'm gonna turn off of Hendry. We've been on Hendry and turning onto McLean Lane. We'll get over into the golf cart lane. I'm gonna give you a lesson in golf cart driving here in just a moment. We're gonna turn left. I told you earlier, we can't turn left from here, can we, Linda? No. Nope. If yeah. you do, you can get broadsided by a passing vehicle. So we're gonna put on our signal now, merge into the driving lane after checking, and now we can turn left. Make sure you never turn left without checking first. This is Ragsdale Loop. Those are Mariana Villas on the left. This is a pretty neighborhood and very handy to Brownwood. Yes. Saw that bag of trash out there. Tomorrow must be their trash day. Most people wait until later because nobody wants to see bags of trash out during the day. These are designer homes that you're looking at. They would average around 2,000 square feet, maybe 1,900. Lovely little cul-de-sac. Pineapple Palm was pretty there. See that pineapple palm? Gizmo's back there. He's just uh, snoozing, probably. This is a lovely little court. Yeah. Now, when we turn the circle right here, you're going to see a house for sale. Oh, well, there's one for sale. Uh, that's a good, uh, a good thing to look at right there because that's for sale by realty executives. 
that is not a village's real estate company sale. So to buy that, you would have to have a realtor from the MLS service, probably. By the way, we told you about trucks like this. You can see that pretty truck right there. It very well may not fit in that garage. Yeah, it might it. be a tad too long. So if you have a beautiful truck and it's your baby and it's a crew cab and you love it and you're gonna to move to the villages, you probably have to park that truck outside. We'll go around these little cul-de-sacs. They give you a nice backyard sometimes, even though they might be irregularly shaped. That's a Sylvester palm straight ahead. Look at these agave plants. Ooh -wee. They're sharp. And these folks have set their trash out. Now, Linda, what do you think the danger is of setting your trash out the early for the trash person? Well, if you set them out too early or a day before or two days before, you're going to have raccoons. Animals are going to come get them. There's somebody getting a roof right there. Yeah, so I think uh, putting them out the garbage out too early could be uh, scattered garbage. Yeah, you see that water tower. Now that water tower is at the right between the fire department and the new wood shop. Looks like an access road right there for golf carts to get out. Wow. That's pretty nice. That's handy goes right into the Eisenhower parking lot. Eisenhower Rec Center, of course, is a salute to the troops. Well, that, that house back there had four garages, Jerry. Four garages. Four garage doors. Did you get a, a picture of it? Uh, we, I hope so. I hope so, too. You probably did. There's no exit here. We have to turn around and go back, so pretty sure we can get a look at those garages. Yep. How many garages do you need? You're going to have a car and one golf cart? Maybe just a car. Or will you have a car and two golf carts like we do? Or do you want two cars and two golf carts? There's a big truck. It barely fit in that garage, didn't it? Yeah, it's tight. Corner house. Right over here is the garage Linda was talking about. The corner we'll get a look at it. She said it had a four car garage. There it is, over there tucked in on the edge. Did you notice the oh, screen? Oh, you know what, that's a, that's a lanai. That's a flat, that's a lanai with a screen. Oh look, a putting green. Did you see that putting yes, green? Yes, that's cool. But that was a lanai with a screen down on it. It looked like a garage. My and mistake. sometimes people will list their homes for rent. There are several places where you can look, or they'll just put a sign up on their on their house. Pretty driveway. And we're in the village of Collier. It's a very beautiful village. This is a nice village. I'm, I'm liking it a lot. Our trash day is Monday and Thursday. Now, obviously, these folks have a Friday day. I mean, because the trash people can't pick everybody up in one day. No. I can see that these homes we're looking at here back up as you look down through the homes there oh, yeah. to some sort of preserve. We had to take a little break there because the camera, our main camera in front, ran out of memory. We use a phone for these types of, of videos and it was full. So I had to stop and erase. By the way, if you 
ever have to erase, try not to do it like we just did. Well, that's very rare right there. You don't see a trash can very often. Wow. Yeah. I'm surprised. But if you erase things under pressure, you may lose some things you don't want to lose. So try not to erase things when you're under the gun. In this case, I had the last two videos that we shot still on there. Oh dear. So I was able to pull those out. Linda may not be as talkative because she's keeping her eyes on that screen yeah. as she's videoing. Here's some people, let's not video them. We'll just go right about our business. Back on McLean. McLean is a nice street. I like it. Yeah. But we're at the end of it. We're going to come down to this cul-de-sac and we're going to whoop a Yui, as I like to say, and go right back out the way Got we a came. Little cupola on top uh -huh. of that house. You may want to live at the end of a cul-de-sac. They're nice. I you can love see this. that beautiful home right there. Oh yes. This is lovely right here. I'm going to go sideways because I'm into the sun. <coughs> now these streets <coughs> Excuse me. north of 44, when you get into a designer home neighborhood like this, they very often will have these concrete gutters on the side which are very nice they will handle a lot of water the roads are crowned slightly and the water runs toward these big drains that you'll see every few hundred feet there was a hurricane a few years ago that had trouble handling all the water but a hurricane gives you an unbelievable amount of water I don't know how old this neighborhood is, probably 10 years old. Yeah, and you can see the mature vegetation. Yeah. Very welcoming, don't you think? Yes. Very nice. Wide streets, big yards. Well. <laughs> Bigger yards. Uh, I don't think they're very big, these yards. People say, why don't you cut your own grass, you lazy bum? Your yard is so small compared to where you used to live. Well, down here your garage is small too. Your home is small. I don't want to keep a lawnmower and a weed eater and an edger and, gar and, and you know, all the paraphernalia, the gas cans and all those things that you have to keep. There you see some pine trees. Pine trees planted really close to that house. It's like they're in the woods. That was unusual. Hats off to Linda for maintaining focus and taking those side shots for you. That's not easy. She can't really enjoy the ride when she's holding that camera up, but she's doing it for you. We're still on McLean. We're heading out toward Henry Drive. Now that's a nice pond right here. Really? I believe you could fish in something like that, sure. but you couldn't walk around behind anybody's house. You could only fish the part of it that was along the road right there. And of course, you want to pick up all your trash.
the home that Linda said was getting a new roof there. You see it up ahead? That's the big insurance deal, isn't it? They don't want to insure any home that's 12 years old or more. At least that's what I've heard. But apparently the Florida State Legislature has acted on it. We'll have to wait and see what they've come up with. A roof is a major expenditure. We're talking fifteen or twenty thousand dollars. You know, I was thinking if you have to replace it every twelve years, and let's say it costs eighteen thousand dollars, you know, that's over. That's a hundred dollars a month that you're spending for your roof every month you live there. That's a lot. And every 12 years, you get to keep doing it. We're at the corner of Hendry and McLean. We're gonna turn right. Dead ahead is Buena Vista again. We're in the multimodal trail. We're gonna merge over. Now up here we decide to go back the way we came, we turn left, or to go to Brownwood, we're going to turn right. Turning right. Go on to Brownwood. They have the reflectors in the middle here. It would be a big jolt to have a head-on collision with a golf cart. So on the turns, they put these reflectors, and I think that helps out, especially at night. Bamboo. Man, feel like I'm in a jungle. You know, we were talking about trying to put roofs on your house and how costly it is. Our son just had a problem in his home in South Carolina, he's gonna to have to get a new air conditioning unit inside and out. So yeah, that's the, a huge expense. The poor guy. Poor buddy. He's our youngest. He called me and said he came back from somewhere. He's in the Air Force. Came back, came in. The house was hot. Hey, here's Eisenhower. See it there? Eisenhower Rec Center. One of the biggies. And he came in, it was hot, and he called an air conditioning company, and they told him, yeah, your whole deal is shot. Your inside unit, your outside unit, that'll be $13,000. That's a lot for a 26-year-old, uh, I call him still a kid, to swallow. I mean, that you is. know why, and that poor buddy. favorite trees right here. Big gardens, isn't that pretty? Hey, we're by this big live oak tree. We're going to go down under the tunnel. Yeah, this pandemic has raised the prices of everything to alarming numbers. I mean, they're waving to us behind oh, us. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Gizmo's getting waved at from the back. Uh, this Come pond on. on the right here that Linda's showing you, that was the home of Larry the Gator, the big famous big old boy that's now in Gatorland. And that's the loft apartment straight over there. They've got a great view of this pond. At least the ones on this side do, don't they? Yeah. And this is basically your gateway to Brownwood. Once we get off of this multimodal trail here in a minute, we'll be right in Brownwood. The happening place. This street is called Shady Nook. If we turn left here, which we will, 
but if we stayed on it for another thousand feet or so, it would lead us onto the bridge that goes over road, State Road 44. Right. The village's golf cars is on our left right there, that yellow building you see. And this is Torch Lake Drive, and we're going to turn right. And we are in Brownwood. We are. The beautiful sales center is right here on the right. Look at all these golf cars. You've got Golf Central here, you've got a jewelry company, City Fire, and of course the sales office right there. Now when you come to the square, very difficult to find a place to park. There is one if we wanted it right here. Should we park here a minute? You can park in your golf cart here if you get lucky, find a place to park. Band just said they're going to take a pause, they're going to take a break. But you can see everybody here all around. We'll continue our way around the square. Some people speed up when they're walking across the street, and some, some people, people don't. don't. Home and Joy has nuts. <laughs> some don't. <laughs> Five Guys Burgers and Fries. We're going to scoot around this fella. He's waiting for a parking spot. All kinds of cart parking spots tonight. This, ladies and gentlemen, is not crowded, not crowded at all. That's the old movie theater that you can't go to anymore. I miss it. I miss Barnstorm it. Theater. That was our favorite. That's because it's the closest one. That's what we would yes. go to if we wanted to watch a movie. But now we go up to which one is it? Old Mill. The Old Mill Theater. Yep. Cost us a lot of gas yeah. money. <laughs> We'll make a few laps around here and kind of check out the situation. There's all the golf carts. We saw that couple with their dog back there. It's a very pet friendly place. This lady has hers as well. They'll even have water out at some stores for the dogs. Yeah. So nice. This was the back of the theater. Now, of course, it's the back of an empty building. This is Shady Nook again. You stay on Shady Nook up here to the end. I'll show you the entrance to the bridge. There's actually two bridges. Have we had supper? No, we have not. We have not had supper. Pizza sounds good. Want to go over the bridge and come back? Yeah. Let's go over the bridge and come back. We'll show right. it to you. We should. They're waving us on. I like this little, this first bridge is over a pond and it's a beautiful metal bridge. I really like it. metal bridge and just on the other side you'll see a ramp that takes you up to the bridge that goes over 44 and as soon as we cross that bridge we'll be in the Southern Oaks area 
We're not going to stay over there tonight. We're going to turn around and come right back. Linda will give you a good shot of Highway 44. And you come to the other side, there's beautiful trees. We'll just go far enough to where we get a safe place to turn around and we'll come right back. Here we go. Let's go in the grass. Someday we're going to go on an alligator hunt. We'll get in the cart and we'll go out and see how many alligators we can find in an hour. If it's the right day, I'll bet we can find 10 or 12. Our son went to, uh, and his family went to the Apopka Wildlife uh, Drive and he, they saw 37 or more alligators. That Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive is about an hour from here. We did a video on it. You can search it. You'll see it. That's the one where Linda got locked into the restroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. wonder how that happened. And um, it's full of, of wildlife. It's free. It's an 11-mile loop. You drive it. It takes about an hour to drive it. Maybe more if you drive like me, slow, and checking out every animal. There's a look down the other way on State Road 44. Linda's shooting right through the sign that says the villages. Yep. It's a giant billboard. They light those up at night. There are three of those bridges right now, and there'll be four. And one of you them can see the walking area on the right here. One of the bridges will be a car bridge. Yeah, the Bexley Bridge, the Bexley Trail. It's going to be good for cars or walkers or bicycles and golf carts. Looking forward to that. Back in the parking lot. Now this is the parking lot near Megason Road and uh, Cody's original roadhouse, Babette's furniture. It's where those statues are when you come in of the cows and the cowboys. I love the that. original Florida crackers they call them. Mm -hmm. That is neat. It's beautiful. Can't take a golf cart out there. That's beyond the point of no return. That Barnstorm Theater would be straight ahead of us there. We're going to turn. Hello. Hello. Watch out all the time. 
Oh, we do. We watch out all the time. Well, thank you. We actually bought a house yesterday. While we were Wonderful. Here. Congratulations. Thank you. Where, where did you buy one? Uh, St. John's. Okay. Ruby. Ruby, uh, Ruby Villas. Yeah, Ruby, Ruby Villas. Villas. Right what, up next what? to the freeway. So we don't know if it's... We've checked the noise and everything, but we'll just have to see. Yeah. Fingers yeah. crossed. Well, you know everybody moves three times anyway. That's well, why we keep here. And the people we run into and ask, yes. The house number three in two, three years and stuff like that. You may love it and never move. I hope we don't. We're in our first one. Yeah. yeah. We've been waiting on y'all. We keep saying, oh, they're going to get a pool house and all. So, I told you we'd see you when you get here. That's right, we've been waiting and we're leaving tomorrow. So Good to see you. Bye. Good to see you. Bye. That's two J's over there. Linda likes to eat there. They've got some of the lady food. And they got this killer cake. It's amazing. Everybody likes chocolate cake, or every lady I know. Two J's. Yeah, good place. Heading back toward the square, you see the Barnstorm Theater way out there in the distance. You might see that water tower by them by it there that's not the water tower they tore down they haven't built that back yet they will it's just so neat to always see these golf carts people drive them down here and eat dinner they'll come down and listen to music look at that car see that thing right there that's special. That's a three-wheel uh, Vanderhall, whatever that is. <laughs> oh, Vanderhall. And we're back where we came through earlier. We're going to complete the loop here and head on head on home. Once again, that's the village's sales office straight ahead of us there. If you go in there, you'll be amazed. It's uh, really ornate. They've got a lot of neat things. They've got a, a bison head and some really cool statues. Leather furniture. It's very Western, very uh, Western. themed. It's gorgeous. And we're on Torch Lake Drive. Going back the way we came. That gentleman we just passed in that golf cart, he's at the square all the time. He developed a locking system for golf carts that oh. is somewhat uh, theft proof. Yeah. And he's, he gives them away almost at cost just to help people out. Very nice fella. Golf carts only. This is the way we came. We do not have the self-canceling turn signals. We have to do it by hand, by memory. When you first move here, don't feel bad. You are gonna forget, aren't you, Linda? You will. <laughs> you will forget to turn those signals off. Guarantee it. And people will wave at you and yell at you and people will uh, help you remember. That's, uh, the water tower we saw earlier by Eisenhower, by the wood shop. We'll go back on that side. We'll go back on the side by the wood shop and the fire station. Okay. This is an amazing roundabout. Didn't mention it earlier, but this one is for golf carts and bicycles. I'll take a loop around it. <laughs> it's going to take a whole loop around it and show it to you. Now you take that tunnel and you go back the way we came. We're going to take a different one. 
as we go around this roundabout for golf carts. And we're gonna take a ride here past the entrance to Antrim Dells. Some of you are afraid of the wildlife. You've heard the stories. Believe me, a few sightings go a long way. It spreads like wildfire. Yeah. We've never seen a coyote. We've never seen a bobcat. We've never seen a mountain lion. We've never seen a skunk. We haven't seen a raccoon. They got in our trash twice. So we've seen a raccoon a couple of times. We have not seen any harmful snakes. We've seen basically one kind of snake in three and a half years. But we see quite a few of them. They're black snakes, black racers, harmless, very nervous, very fast snake. Don't worry about the snakes. Some people write up, they're concerned about the insects. So many insects. Okay, we're gonna stop here for a minute. I'm going to pull in and show you the wood shop. This is the brown wood wood shop. That's it straight ahead. I'm a volunteer here and uh, a member. All members have to be volunteers. They will work four days in exchange for their membership. I've worked three days this year already. I've got one more to put in. There's that water tower we've been seeing. Whoa, did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? No. I'm gonna show you the reason for global warming. That is the sun. It's huge, isn't it? It's 93 million miles away. That's the wood shop. I was telling you, don't be afraid of the insects. People talk about the infamous palmetto bugs. Yeah. The huge cockroach that will eat your house if you're not careful. <laughs> How many have we seen in three and a half years, Linda? <laughs> Less than two. <laughs> well, you saw one and a half? Yeah. <laughs> we, we saw one and the other one may or may not have been. So in three and a half years. Yeah. What other animals? Termites. We have our house treated for termites, but for heaven's sake, we have a, we've got a bl concrete block home. Now we're going to turn here and give you a look at station number 45. That's it right there. One of the village's fire stations. It's beautiful. They keep the equipment in first rate condition. He could be from here to our house in what, two and a half, three minutes? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't take long. And right there is Eisenhower Rec Center, just right across the street. So we're back on the multimodal trail now. We're heading north on Buena Vista, alongside Buena Vista. I like this side, it's very shady. Yeah. It's a nice safe ride. Nice and wide here. One of the areas you could pass a walker or a bicyclist. Yes. The village of Hillsboro is to our right. And Hillsboro Trail will just right, right, will be right up here. Hillsboro Trail will be right up here. Gonna 
grass some more bamboo. Bamboo gets out of control, doesn't it? There's a lot it's, of it. It's gnarly stuff. When you were a kid, did you have a fishing pole made of bamboo? <laughs> called a cane pole? Yeah. I did. You don't need a reel or anything. You just flop it out there. When the fish bites, you pick it up. Pretty nice. I hope you enjoyed our trip. It was a nice little trip and beautiful weather, beautiful skies, beautiful flowers. Everything is beautiful. Beautiful? <laughs> it's just beautiful. Where'd we go? We went down Hillsboro all the way to Buena Vista. We went down Buena Vista to Brownwood. What else? Around the square, through the town. Uh, then we end up going over the bridge to the southern section of the villages. And then we did, we did a U-turn, came back, and uh, retraced our steps. We showed you the village of Collier, some beautiful homes in there. Mm -hmm. We really like that village. Very pretty village. Oh, it's a nice evening. If you're wondering what time it was for this drive, it was about 6.30 to mm -hmm. 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So in the evening, on a weeknight, not too much traffic. The square was, we could we yeah. found three or four parking spots we could have parked in. Yes. That's rare. <laughs> When there's music down there, you usually have to fight for a, right, for a parking spot. Right. But it's okay because they're old, you know. It's a... <laughs> well, if you liked our video today, please press that like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And then if you look in the corner there, right, right there, there, where there's that Over bell, there. Mm -hmm. press that bell and it's going to give you a notice of upcoming videos. Until next time. See you when you get here.